1954. Records were more wonderful than the movies. It was then wonderful to be going to Chicago, just like the records. Walter Miller sang, Hey, James Moody, I stole your song. And we were going up Highway 41 those days before the interstate from Indianapolis to Chicago. Walter Miller was our driver, singing like a white king pleasure, getting his hornet to 90 and no more. The next year, 55, it died outside of Cincinnati, trying for 100. Us in Indiana going to Chicago to see Gene Ammons. There I go, there I go, there I go, there I go. King Pleasure Records on the car radio, too, from Gary. And Albert Schweitzer was big in Walter's book. Reverence for life, you dig? But that night was suicide night for animals. Dogs, cats, peoples, pets and possums, raccoons, squirrel, deer, you name it, we ran over it that night. Walter Miller, our driver, worshiper of Albert Schweitzer and King Pleasure. Eek, man, there is nothing we can do about this, Walter told us. And his foot, the first man in Indiana I ever saw wear sandals besides at the beach, his sandaled foot never flinched on the gas pedal. We stopped past the Kankakee River to clean bugs, smear off the windshield and hose off blood and fur from the bumper and fenders, and then back in the better than books or the movies, driving like a record. Gene Ammons' Red Top, King Pleasure sang that one, too. Ouch! Walter cried. It was another dog. It crouched and jumped and bumped and another, and we were going to Chicago, setting a record for dead animals between Indianapolis and Chicago. Walter knew a nurse. We all took pills to get to Chicago faster. The Hudson was soaked with juices of animal suicide night. Now, my father used to say, and Walter Miller's father used to say, and no doubt James Moody's father said too, the faster you run in a rainstorm, the wetter you get. mountain visions, laughing in each other's arms, delight surpassing the highest Rockies. And after old agony, drunk with New Year's, bounding toward the snowy horizon, blasting the dashboard with the original bop hot rod on the mountain, we batter up the cloudy highway where angels of anxiety careen to the trees and scream out of the engine. We burn all night on the Jack Pine Peak, seen from Denver in the summer dark, forest-like, unnatural radiance illuminating the mountain top. Childhood youth time, age and eternity would open like sweet trees in the nights of another spring and dumbfound us with love. For we can see together the beauty of souls hidden like diamonds in the clock of the world, like Chinese magicians can confound the immortals with their intellectuality hidden in the mist. In the green automobile, which I have invented, imagined, and visioned on the roads of the world, more real than the engine on the track in the desert, purer than Greyhound, and swifter than physical jet plane, Denver, Denver. We'll return, roaring 
across the city and counting building lawn, which catches the pyramid flame, streaming in the wake of our auto. This time we'll buy up the city. I cashed a great check in my skull bank to found a miraculous college of the body up on the bus terminal roof. But first, we'll drive the stations of downtown, pool house, flap house, jazz joint, jail, whorehouse, down Folsom, to the darkest alleys of Larimer. Whoa! Paying respects to Denver's father, lost on the railroad tracks, stupor of wine and silence, Halloween, the slum of his decades. Salute him and his saintly suitcase of dark muscatel. Drink and smash the sweet bottles and diesels in allegiance. Yo! <laughs> We go driving drunk on boulevards Where armies march and still parade Staggering under the invisible banner of reality Hurling through the streets in the auto of our fate We share an archangelic cigarette And tell each other's fortunes Fames of supernatural illumination Bleak rainy gaps of time Great art learned in desolation And we beat apart after six decades On an asphalt crossroad, deal with each other in princely gentleness once more, recalling famous dead talks of other cities. The windshield is full of tears, rain wets our naked breasts. We kneel together in the shade amid the traffic of night in paradise. And now, renew the solitary vow we made each other take in. Texas once, I can't inscribe here. How many Saturday nights will be made drunken by this legend? How will young Denver come to mourn a forgotten sexual angel? How many boys will strike the black piano in imitation of the excess of a native saint? Or girls fall wanton under his specter in the high schools of melancholy night? While all the time in eternity, in the warm light of this poem's radio, We'll sit behind forgotten shades, hearkening the lost jazz of all Saturdays. Kneel. We'll be real heroes now in a war between our cocks and time. Let's be the angels of the world's desire and take the world to bed with us before we die. Sleeping alone or with companion, girl or fairy, sheep or dream. I'll fail of lack love. You satiety. All men fall. Our fathers fell before. But resurrecting that lost flesh is but a moment's work of mind. An ageless monument to love and the imagination. Memorial built out of our own bodies. Consumed by the invisible poem. We'll shudder in Denver and endure though blood and wrinkles blind our eyes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So, this green automobile. I give you in flight a present, a present from my imagination. We will go riding over the Rockies. We'll go on riding all night long until dawn. Then back to your railroad, the SP, your house, your children, and broken like destiny. You ride down the plains in the morning. And back to my visions. My office. And Eastern apartment.
I'll return to New 